Hey guys, it's Kelly with Embroidery Nurse. I wanted to show you today about how to make a monogram in Embrilliant software. So I've already got it open here and just kind of wanted to go through the basics with you. This is going to be just your regular starting point when you open up Embrilliant. I want to show you just the very simple task of making a monogram. What you're going to use is this create letters icon up here. So it looks like an A. Um, this is how you create a lettering design. So we're going to click on that and your software is going to come with some preloaded monograms, fonts, and whatnot. Uh, more than likely, they're not going to be the ones that you use. You're going to find it pretty addicting to searching for fonts, trying to find you know the exact thing that you need for your project, for your customer, for your design, and you're going to start to you know purchase them, practice with them, test them, sample them. Buying fonts um, is just so key to finding the digitizers that you know are reliable. If you have a badly digitized font, it can just truly mess up your project thread, you know, breaking because it's it's too, um, you know, it's too dense of a font or whatnot. So it, it is really important. So I'm going to show you what I have um, and what I have loaded. My computer crashed about two months ago, so I don't have all of the fonts. I just haven't reloaded them all back on here. But I just kind of want to show you, um, you know, what I can with what I have here. So anytime um, I purchase a font, I definitely make sure that it's got a BX format. My machine reads the PS, it's a baby lock, so it reads PS files, but um, most all digitizers now will offer a BX font. And what a BX font is, it allows it to be in our program um, and allows us to be able to type it word for word. So especially if you're like typing out an entire name or word or sentence, um, you don't have to do it letter by letter by letter. You can actually type it out. So let's just try to do just one of these very simple fonts. You'll see, um, I believe what we have right here is um, the Fancy Circle. Um, so Fancy Circle um, is a great font. This is an itch to stitch font. Um, and it's very simple. You basically just come in here, you type in, you know, whatever the letters are that your font is going to be, RFG, for instance and hit set and it's going to show you right here rfg that's a really pretty one i like how it has the tails and whatnot um and so it puts it um in the correct sizing where the you know the middle letter which is your last name and is going to be the bigger letter what's neat about these is you still can even though you've put it together um, as a three letter monogram you can click on each of the green squares and you can actually move this letter around um, you know if you want to place it a little bit closer or um, if you're trying to fit it in a certain area, you can do that. So you can slide it in if you're trying to make it more of a circle. Um, it gives you the ability where you can move, you know, the letters individually when you click on them. So you can, you know, click on it as a whole and it will have the entire thing outlined. And then you can basically move it around together to place it where you want. Or you can click on each individual green square and move that letter around. So let me show you just a couple other ones. You can also hear um, it's showing you how you can change the color. I can even change the color of just one of the letters if I wanted to. I can pick a color on my, um, if say I want to do red, white, and blue. Um, you know, each each color can can be done separately, and that will allow it to stop um, for each letter too, if, if you felt like that was necessary for you. Um, so let's show you a few more. So. Uh, some more I have over here, if I go through, a very popular one, of course, is going to be my interlocking monogram. You know, that's very widely used um, in, in different designs. So you can see this one here um, is going to be another itch to stitch. It's called intertwined vine. I call it interlocking. Um, and this is the five and a five, five and a half inch. So what I've found with this, I like my middle name, or I'm sorry, the middle letter, which is the last name, to always be up front and center. So when, if I'm going to do... Um, my initials, which are Kelly Wilson Payne, I'm going to do my middle name first. I'm going to open it back up. It will bring the same font up, and I'm going to do KP next. So KPW is the order of my monogram, but to make sure that I stitch it in the order that I want with the uh, P being on top, um, I have to just put it in a different way. I use my grid lines, especially for one like this, since I've, I've brought in two different elements. Um, I will 
line it up on the line, this grid here, and then I'll drag with my green circle again, or my green square again and bring this one. Whoops, now see, now I picked up the wrong one because um, it's back here behind them. And I will line it, line it on the line as well. And then, so you can see how I can move this around and I'll click on this particular one to, in, to separate it and bring it in because interlocking really does need an interlock. Um, and there you go. I can outline this entire design. I can center it, you know, in my um, hoop by clicking here. And I've got a very pretty three letter interlocking monogram that would look amazing on a bag. That's a really large, large monogram right there. Um, this, you know, grid frame that I have hoop size right here is my Durky nine by nine because that's what I do almost all of my projects in. Um, so just another, you know, quick example that we could do. Um, let's pick um, another font here. Another really popular one is going to be like the circle font. A lot of people, um, you know, will choose that. Um, here's a humongous seven and a half one. Um, so one like this, you just put it in the correct monogram order and it will have it in, in the, um, the right um, middle name or the last name in the middle. So I think that looks really cool. This one, that would take forever. Let's see how thick these um, designs are right here. That would take forever to stitch. So hopefully no one orders a seven and a half inch circle. I also have some really fancy ones that I like that are uh, from Apex Embroidery. Um, they have just really cool designs. Um, so this would be a Ponda. Um, I think that's really cool. I call it like polka dot. I, I think the elements on those are, are really neat. Um, another one of my favorites. Um, this one I sometimes will use for boys. Um, I can take out this element right here and, and put in, you know, some other cute things like a Easter bunny or a shamrock, depending on what I'm doing. Um, I like this one too. This is, I like the ribbed detail. Let me show you a bigger one. Um, the rib detailing, I just, I love that. And, and a lot of times when I'm just doing a single letter last name monogram, like on a dish towel or whatnot, th this one really comes out nicely. People use this a lot on, um, linens, um, pillows and whatnot. So that's really pretty. Um, this one is gorgeous the way it shows up. I generally, if I'm going to use this, um, for my, you know, the two side letters, I'll, I'll maybe do in a different, um, font. So for example, if I just want to do, you know, the middle name, I'm sorry, the middle initial in this, and then I can come over here and pick a different one, or I could pick a much smaller size. Um, I could pick, um, the two side letters to be smaller, and then I could just drag them individually by selecting their individual green dot. And I could place them that way. Um, so that, that makes it more of a monogram um, when the two sides are smaller than the, the middle. So that's one way to change it. So that's just an example of um, some monograms that I have, um, you know, already installed in the BX format on my machine. If you have any questions or need help with configuring your monograms in, 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 in Brilliance, then certainly shoot me a message and I'll try to help you out. Hope you enjoy um, all your craftiness today.